take it the funny smell is fresh air. <laughs> you might not like it at first, but it's addictive. And just listen to all that peace. Well, it's deafening, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like a new man already. That's convenient. So do I. <laughs> Cameron, I'm sorry. I meant to be out here to greet you when you came. Colin's being a bit of a nuisance. He's home, then. That's a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting to see him on this visit. Oh, um, Karen, this is Tom Crane. I mentioned him on the phone. Hello, okay. Karen. She's mentioned you quite a few times on the phone, actually. Treat her. So, no, no, don't worry about the luggage. I'll bring it. Where's Colin, then? He doesn't usually take so long to come and see me when I arrive. He's in the doghouse, I'm afraid. He got into some trouble at school and the headmaster sent him home. That doesn't sound like him. That's what I thought the first time. But now I'm beginning to have my doubts. I didn't know he'd been in trouble before. Yes, at his last school. That's why he had to leave. I see. You never told me. I wasn't very keen on advertising it. I thought it would all stop when we moved back up here. What has he done this time? I'm not really sure. The headmaster's letter was a bit vague and Colin won't talk about it. Shouldn't you have phoned the headmaster and asked him? Oh, I did. It wasn't much help, I'm afraid. He just waffled away about damage to school property and the other children being afraid of Colin. I took it he'd been vandalising things and bullying the other kids. I don't believe it. That's not the Colin I know. I was rather hoping you'd have a word with him, Anne. Well, of course I will. Just can't seem to get through to him. He said he was sent home from his last school. What for? Much the same thing, I think. They were vague as well. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I can't keep him at home here, you see. Anne's probably told you I'm an interior designer. And it's not exactly a cottage industry. I have to go away from home quite a lot. I can't just leave him here on his own. If I can't find another boarding school to take him, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think the first thing we should do is clear out the mystery of why he was sent home. Would you like to speak to him now? Waiting won't make it any easier. I'll get him. Excuse me. Colin's the last boy in the world you'd expect to behave that way. Unless it's... Because of his parents being divorced. I think Colin misses his father more than Karen would admit. Doesn't he come to see him? Hardly ever. He's remarried, started another family. You think Colin might be just lashing out to release his resentment? I can't account for it in any other way. Aren't you going to say hello to oh, Anne? Hello, darling. Lauren. Oh, you've grown up a lot since I last saw you. Come and meet my friend. I'll make some more coffee. Colin, this is Tom Crane. Hello, Colin. Tom's a journalist. You used to say you wanted to be a writer. Yes. We've got something in common, then. Your mother tells me you've been sent home from school. I don't want to talk about it, if you don't mind. If they're blaming you for something you didn't do, I think you ought to. Did you do it, Colin? It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. If you did do those things, we've got to find out why. If you didn't, we've got to stick up for you. Do you realise how serious this is? Your mother might not be able to get you into another boarding school. I don't want to go to another boarding school. I want to stay here. I'm sure Mummy wants that too, but she has to work. You can't stay here with no one to look after you. I can look after myself. Tell her that, Aunt. Tell her she mustn't send me away. It would only happen again. What do you make of that? Sounded like a case of emotional blackmail to me. Except that he didn't seem to be threatening. He seemed to be terrified. Look at that. What? The ashtray has moved about a foot and a half without anyone touching it. Colin never broken anything. Do you know of a boy who hasn't? <laughs> yes, but was there ever a time when a lot of things got broken? Yes, but he said he didn't break them. 
I don't know why he lied about it. It's not as though I make a fuss about that sort of thing. But I just couldn't get him to admit he did it. I got all upset. Did he ever do anything else you thought funny? Um, hide things or, or move them? How did you know that? It happens to some children. They can't help it. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. They get over it. Well, I hope he does. Colin's father insists that he goes to a boarding school. What am I going to do if I can't find another place for him? Maybe his headmaster could be persuaded to take him back. I couldn't persuade him. I wouldn't know what to say. I could. I do know what to say. Would you, Anne? I'll drive over and see him tomorrow. <sighs> well, but what about Tom? I'll be busy most of the day. Oh, I'm sure Colin can entertain me. We've got a lot in common. <laughs> 